So first things first to mention, just as a kind of, you know, a bit of a somber way to start the pod, actually, and not something that you probably would want to start pods with, but I wanted to just acknowledge this because, you know, it's something that I've kind of been thinking about all week. So I want to just say um, on the pod to RIP to Joshua Sweeney, um, a friend of mine who I've known for a very, very long time, but unfortunately in the last few years, we hadn't really spoken much. We kind of had a bit of a falling out, which I don't know really what it was about. To be honest, it probably wasn't anything that was really really um worth it in the long scheme of things but you know male pride gets in the way time kind of gets in between and then you know by the time you turn around things have changed and people have gone away and unfortunately he passed away at the beginning of the week and it's been something that has oddly enough had a weird effect on me i'd say in terms of just making me realize how important it is to you know cherish people while they're around that's the obviously number one thing um i don't think there's anything i probably could have changed in terms of our relationship in the interim that would have saved it or rectified it in any way shape or form um i think i've now got to the stage where especially when i used to have a tendency to try to rescue things like i'd be a type of person who'd be like going out you know swapping instagrams with people and stuff and thinking those people are your friends and you contact them the next day or you want to go out to another party with them and then suddenly you know they kind of left leave you on scene or it's not the same sort of vibe and i think you slowly realize and again that's not the best example because those are usually you know crappy circumstances and you're usually drunk and high and stuff but i think what you realize is that sometimes it's probably better just to enjoy the moment for what it is um savor it live in it um center yourself in it and then just you know however it kind of plays out it plays out but don't try and force anything right don't try and chase anything usually it doesn't work that way especially in a city like london where there's so many people coming in and out people's careers are going up and down family structures change relationship structures change people are just always on the move it's really difficult to kind of hold on to people for the most part you really have to work um to really maintain or to nurture a relationship here or even a friendship in london i think for the most part maybe because it's transient maybe because londoners are a bit stush i don't really know but there's something that goes on there but regardless um you know when we were younger um a lot of us i think this this is probably my first sort of like friendship group outside of church when I used to go all the time. So these were my first sort of friends I used to hang out with and the, you know, the first people I kind of discovered Bape, I discovered Supreme, we've started to discover skateboarding with, buying hype sneakers, going out, you know, on our own as kind of young adults, all that sort of stuff we sort of like were doing together for the first time. And it was an important um, I would say valuable experience in that it kind of allowed us to all grow up at the same time. You know what I mean? Like um, most of us probably, I think with the exception, maybe a couple didn't really go to uni. Um, and the ones I did like myself, I went to a London one. So you didn't really have an opportunity to kind of go away and do the whole uni thing. And I remember kind of regretting that a lot, even though I went to a really good one in terms of St. Martin's. Um, I regretted the decision of like staying in London a lot. But one of the things that made it good or made it really great was meeting people like josh and a few other people who basically were you able to sort of like you know grow up with them together kind of discover and experience things for the first time we all kind of went on our first lads kind of like young people's holiday to new york when we were all like 18 19 20 or something which was a really formative experience well no, it was in our formative years but it was a really formative experience also and just in general man we just had a whale of a time we had such a good time together um going out all the time to like you know little private views store openings um traveling around to the uk places like birmingham and whatnot um doing random house parties um you know random sessions in other people's places as well like just constantly being around each other all the time and it's unfortunate how like you know things change over time and it's never the same and usually those experiences don't really carry on relationships don't carry on a lot of people featuring these pictures aren't really even cool with each other anymore which is again super unfortunate but i think with his passing one thing i kind of realized was that you know we'd had a great time even though we didn't speak in the last few years of his life i think i will still cherish all those great memories you know um hanging around together around shoreditch and stuff going to out into old tree and whatnot and just generally just trying to like discover and experience things together for the first time i think all those things are super important especially for a young man like myself who probably didn't have the most um life experiences at that point where i was kind of sheltered i was kind of you know not allowed to go out a lot and to kind of discover these these kind of guys who are like you know literally latching key um latching key kids when i was the complete opposite was a really good thing and you know we we're able to all kind of just chill and enjoy each other's company a lot and i really did enjoy those years so um r.i.p to joshua sweeney 
thoughts and feelings go out to his family and friends, um, especially his family. I know how close he was with them. I can't even imagine what they're going through right now. And yeah, man, just prayers and healing to everybody involved, really. And um, I guess the message on the end of this would just be like, you know, savor and, you know, really honor and respect your relationships and your friendships and stuff. And if there is a possibility to set, you know, to save something, to kind of, you know, remedy a situation, to make it maybe work, make it work, please do try and reach out first as you can, because I don't think, you know, maybe that was a ma major mistake that I made in terms of just letting it go and thinking, OK, we'll come back around. And it never did come back around because I kind of moved on my life and I guess he moved on. And then by the time you turn around, you know, it's too late to sort of rescue anything. So if you do have opportunity to save or something or you feel like doing it because that's also something that needs to be said then definitely do it but for some prayers go to everybody in his family and involved and yeah man hope they are doing well really i don't really know how well you can do in this type of situation it's flipping tragic to be fair because he was way too young to pass away um the way that he did so r.i.p to joshua sweeney and as a marker remember so i'm gonna do a little one minute um you know remembrance of him and stuff so bear with me a second r.i.p joshua sweeney yeah unfortunate situation really unfortunate for all involved really 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 is